massive category of the derivation of verbal nouns in Arabic relies on defined patterns, which are constructed based on verb forms, a system on which specific grammar rules are set for simplifying the conceptualization of Arabic grammar that involves some arithmetic since you get to count the number of letters of the verbs in question. So, knowing your verb forms is an essential step to your understanding of derivations. As you've previously learned regarding the subject of quadrilateral verbal nouns with the pattern ifal and the way they derive from form for verbs with the pattern af'ala, which consists of four letters. Today you will discover another verb form that is equal in number but different in form, which is form two. Form two represented by the pattern Fa'ala, fa'ala, with a doubled middle radical, a wink to the emphasis sign shadda, shadda, that marks geminate verbs, and from which quadrilateral verbal nouns with the pattern taf'il, taf'il, emanates. So we have introduced the ta with its fatha to the first original radical. And fa is its placeholder with its sukun taf, taf, and the ya to the third radical of a given root, preceded by a kasra because it is a long vowel. Yeah, and yeah is the long vowel yeah requires a preceding kasra. Taf'il, taf'il. So, fa'ala, taf'il. For instance, the verb fakara, fakara. Fakara, to contemplate and think deeply about something over. From the root fa, kaf, ra, fakara, fakara, with a doubled middle radical, ka, ka. It gives rise to taf, kir, taf, kir, if you replace the three radicals with fa ain lam you would have taf kir taf kir so fakara taf kir thinking contemplating pondering and is construed with the preposition fi fakara fi fakara في المستقبل فكر he third person masculine singular فكر فكر في المستقبل مستقبل فكر في المستقبل he thought about the future and got depressed just kidding he thought about the future التفكير the verbal noun here is definite with the definite article L in the nominative since we start the sentence with it. fi al mustaqbali. So you have two ways to formulate the same idea, either the verb or its verbal noun. Fakara fi al mustaqbali or attafkiru in general, general concept, attafkir thinking. At-tafkiru, if you don't want to specify the person or the time, 
you would use the verb now at the fil mustaqbali thinking about the future fima to fakir fima to fakir i'm asking you fima fima about what concerning what so you have fi the preposition fi plus the interrogative pronoun ma that equals what fi ma and they are merged to form fima fima meaning concerning what and the ma loses its alif when merged with fi fima what are you thinking about fima to fakir anta addressing second person masculine singular anta you fima to fakir what are you thinking about faddala faddala fa dad lam and they start with the same letters just a coincidence faddala faddala then what is the the verbal noun you have the fa dad lam taf dil taf dil you have just to follow the pattern just memorize your patterns what work what works for each verb form so faddala it is to prefer to favor something over something else faddala again huwa he annuzhata ala al amali so you have two nouns annuzha annuzha is a short leisurely walk annuzha al amal working so faddala annuzhata ala al amali he preferred going for a leisurely stroll to working all right and he is not to be blamed anyway so taf dil taf dil is the verbal noun of form to faddala fassara fassara al ustadhu al darsa so fassara form to it's to explain the professor explained this is the subject in the nominative case with the sign of dhamma so fassara al ustadhu al darsa al darsa is the object of fassara in the accusative parsing is very important so al darsa is the object of fassara and fassara is form 2 because of its emphasized middle radical so what is the verbal noun of fassara fassara tafsir tafsir it's that easy fassara tafsir wa wa and the coordinating conjunction wa instead of saying fahama al ustadu al darsa we would just avoid repetition and replace the previous object with a pronoun who is the object pronoun of the verb fahama instead of repeating the same idea fahama al ustadu al darsa which is a wa fahamahu and and the subject is implicit since we already mentioned it previously within the first sentence fassara al ustadu al darsa wa fahamahu fahama fahama is another form to verb meaning to instruct or make someone understand all right so fahamahu we have fa ha mim 
the root. So, tafhim is its verbal noun. Tafhim, tafil. What? We have the third idea. What dahahu? Again, instead of saying what dahal ustadu darsa, and since we have the same idea mentioned previously, we we'll just, we'll just say what dahahu and use the pronoun to refer to the object at this. And we already know that we're talking about the professor. So here it's implicit. You would figure out the subject from the conjugation of the verb. What dahahu? What daha? What daha is to clarify, to elucidate, to make make it clear. So what dahahu? What daha? Me and the verbal noun is tawdih. So you have fassara. I swear to God that I didn't. Um, my intention wasn't to find exactly the verbs that start with fa. Just total coincidence. Fahama, what daha? So fasere tefsir. Fahama tefhim. What daha? Tawdih. It's that easy. Allama. Allama. Allama is to teach. Ta'lim, teaching, education. So, Allama, who is Al-Mu'allim? Al-Mu'allim is teacher, Al-Ustad, professor. Allama, Al-Mu'allim, let's say, Al-Atfal, Al-Qira'ata, Wal-Kitabata. Allama, Al-Atfal, القراءة والكتابة. So علمه he taught. He taught children الأطفال the object of علما. Children reading القراءة and writing الكتابة. علما تعليم. So if you encounter form two. Final week verbs as Samma Samma Final week When we say a verb uh, is a final week Meaning that it's ending with a weak letter And you know you, the weak letters It's the wow alif ya The y Wow alif ya Samma So samma is to name you would have to use the pattern تفعله. تفعله. So here we don't have the long vowel ya. Instead, we, we end the, the pattern with a ta marbuta, tied ta, tied ta. And then we, we start the pattern the way we did with this. تف عيل تفعيل 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 تسمية تسمية so سما and this ألف would turn to a ياء alright so we have تس this is the first radical of the root and the ميم ميم and the ألف that would turn to its original uh, form is a ya, tasmiya, and then you add the tamarbuta. Tasmiya means giving a name. Here is another example the verb rabba, form two, final week, because it's ending with a an alif. This is a shortened alif or broken alif, another form of. The extended alif rabba is to foster, to bring up, to raise, and its verbal noun is tarbiya, tafila, tarbiya, tarbiya. 
meaning nurturing, fostering, upbringing. Daha. Daha is to sacrifice. And the verbal noun is tadhiya. Tadhiya. Tafila. And same applies to azza, to condole. Azza. Ta'ziya. Ta'ziya. Condolence. Condolence. And that's it for today. Ila liqa.